SMART stands for Sensemaking in Anti-Doping Reasoning Training. This study was part of a research project funded by the IOC. The project explored athletes' values and the dynamics of their value priorities. With this segment of the project, we aim to support values-based education by developing training modules that hones athletes' sense-making skills for better decisions. For this part of the SMART project, we employed a method called Nominal Group Technique, or NGT for short. NGT is a kind of problem-focused, structured, iterative and moderated small group discussion which puts emphasis on ensuring equal contribution from all group members. The NGT process involves problem identification, solution generation, and decision making. As such, it is a technique that combines brainstorming and consensus building for an actionable solution. Participants comprise teams of academics and athlete researchers in five European countries, Germany, Italy, Greece, Russia and the United Kingdom. The teams worked from rich data collected via 13 focus group discussions with a culturally representative sample of 60 elite athletes, representing 13 countries and 27 sports. We worked remotely and communicated via video conferencing. Facilitated by a moderator, NGT participants generated ideas and solutions, then ranked and prioritized the issues or suggestions of all group members. Participating teams in this project worked mostly independently, with their inputs collated and processed by the moderator. Only the moderator knew who contributed and with what. Evaluation and ranking were done on the anonymized suggestions and solutions. We developed the SMART modules through a moderated and iterative multi-stage process that comprised six distinct steps. First, participants engaged in a so-called silent brainstorming. They individually read the transcripts and identified issues that they felt pertinent to anti-doping education. Each issue must have been supported by three indicators but there was no minimum or maximum limit on the number of issues. For collective evaluation of the issues identified, the moderator combined the individual lists of issues, anonymized them and instructed participants to score each issue on relevance and importance. These together formed the final score by which the issues were ranked. Consensus were reached for 26 issues as being both relevant and important for this project. To inform the SMART training program, teams were asked to create three to five modules which covers most, if not all important issues. Each team submitted a set of modules to the moderator, who created a portfolio document and instructed the participants to rank the module sets. The set with the best ranking was retained. Participants then discussed and collectively finalized the modules in the selected set. Each of the five modules explores an important aspect of values in sport. The modules were distributed among the teams for development. Following the NGT process, each team was given absolute freedom to select the mode of delivery for the module content. A total of five modules were created, along with exercises and serious games. These modules and exercises were materialized as short films, animated videos, podcasts, infographics and online games. The first module asks athletes to reflect on what they stand for, what is important to them as an athlete. The second module recognizes that athletes' values might change over their athletic career. The third module warns athletes that dealing with doping in their environment will question their values. The fourth module concentrates on conflicts and explains that value conflicts are both normal and common. The fifth module takes a holistic view through personal integrity and talks about congruence or conflict of values on and off the pitch. Evaluation of the SMART modules were done in the UK with Academy athletes. The process involved five workshops. In each workshop, athletes first engaged with the module material individually, then discussed the content and the format with a facilitator. The discussions were recorded and transcribed for analysis. We also asked the participating athletes for feedback on the module content and mode of delivery. Overall, the SMART modules were well received. Athletes find something useful in all modules. Even when the content was not entirely new, 
the module took a fresh approach or offered a structured view for what athletes already experienced. Athletes had different views about and preferences for the format, which indicates that no single format or mode of delivery can please all athletes. Facilitated group discussions, debates and explicitly endorsed views are integral part of the learning experience. Developing the SMART modules was a true collaborative effort. The following people deserves credit for the work we presented here. If you are interested in looking at the SMART modules, exercises, games, scientific publications, and other academic outputs, visit the project websites, or get in touch.